defrosting and funding for public schools. I'm your Meridian neighborhood reporter, Ali Tripke, here at the Village at Meridian with more on how Idaho Lottery is celebrating 35 years. I spoke with the Department of Education on how they're receiving money from the lottery to impact students. Idaho Lottery says every play benefits Idaho schools, students, and property taxpayers. The lottery has provided millions of dollars over the last several, uh, the last many years. Another thing to celebrate Friday, Idaho Lottery turned 35. Fun events at the village consisted of games, live music, and plenty of birthday cake. Five contestants from across the state tried their luck, digging through frosting to find a prize in a cake stack. Nampa local Evan Crawford found the $10,000 reward in his pile of pastry. Thanks what are you planning to do with the money? The I'm probably going to pay off some bills, for being honest. And with his newfound luck. And a few more lottery tickets, of course. So how does the Idaho lottery benefit students and taxpayers? Schools in the past, um, up to this point, have used it for kind of their routine maintenance, paying their maintenance team salaries and doing their repairs on their buildings and a lot of their summer projects. West Ada School District tells me the money has been a significant help for the district to maintain buildings. Starting this year, new legislation combines state money in part with lottery funding to fund more public school districts. In this legislative package that included that piece where the lottery funding is going to be redirected, there was some additional funding from state state sales tax revenues that will go to additional facilities support for schools. And good news for taxpayers, as the federal and lottery funding allows districts like West Ada to hold off on putting bonds on the ballot. To learn more on how Idaho lottery funding is going towards public schools, you can check out this story on our website, idahonews6.com. In Meridian, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Ali Tripke for Idaho News 6.